Man, the lengths some people will go to to get the spice for their pumpkin spice lattes. Hi, my name is Ryan and this is my review channel. Anyway, so for today's movie, I will be reviewing Dune Part 1. Yes, this is not a full, a full adaptation of the book. This series will hopefully be a Part 1, Part 2 series. So please, so just... Before I start the review, please see this movie. I don't want this film to go the route of Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings adaptation. Please, please, please. Anyway, anywho. So let's start off with a lot of the positive. This film has a lot going for it. The visuals, they are huge. This film is like Lord of the Rings-esque epic visuals in terms of spaceships, environments, everything. It just it is big. And thankfully, the, all the actors, they don't get lost amongst the scale. Everyone is top-notch. Timothy Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Re Rebecca Ferguson, they're all great. Uh, Timothy Chalamet, he plays uh, Paul Atreides, the heir to the Atreides throne. He's not really sure how he fits into this and how and whether he even is fit to be a ruler. Meanwhile, the Bene Gesserit, they're, ba they're laying down... Uh, this uh, prophecy that uh, Paul Atreides will be the messiah of Arrakis, or Dune, as it's also referred to. Anyway, and meanwhile, the Harkonnens, they want the plant for themselves and go through th some under-the-table shady dealings with the emperor to do so. It's, yeah, it's and it's really good. Uh, Jason Momoa also plays Duck in Idaho, sort of giving himself a bit of a piratey swagger to himself with, you know, with with the swashbuckling sword and a shield to boot. It's, the score is great, really fits and enhances the mood of the film. And, and there's this nice sort of bagpipe synth score for the film that really works well. Uh, and the source material well, let's put it this way. The source material has a lot of exposition in it. And the, and they managed to, at least in my opinion, condense it pretty well into the film. For every moment where a character explains something, they do a good job of visually explaining the rules of this world. It, so it, it's really good there. And to those who haven't read the books, this is about as good an adaptation you're going to get if you want to not have to read the book. However, if you haven't read the book, there will be some plot points that you will find very confusing. So, to that end, if you want to read the book before seeing the movie, you can. I mean, you theoretically speaking, you only have to read about halfway through the novel or so. Personally, I would recommend trying to read the full novel because there are some plot points, changes made to the film that differ very much from the book. So, to that end, I will simply conclude with this film is really good. I, you, try, try to see it in theaters, please. If, again, I appreciate it, you know, money is tight. If you have HBO Max, fine. The, the Warner Brothers are willing to green light a sequel if uh, HBO Max numbers are good for the this film, but please, if you can, you're you're only doing a disservice to yourself if you don't if you watch this on your TV. Please see it on a fit on a movie theater if you can do so safely. It's yeah, just please do. And with that in mind, I will uh, rate this film four out of five stars. Great. Anyway, thank you for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.